Hi everyone, welcome back to another Wednesday. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for taking the time and let me know that you're new to the channel. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and every Wednesday I put out another video talking about my 26 years of a life in the pie business. Everything that I know I want to share with you and YouTube has given me a great platform to do so. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Today I want to take you behind the scenes into my pie shop. Here it's a very busy week. It's a holiday week with Thanksgiving upon us. And I want to show you how uh, we top our cream pies. Now here I may top 900 cream pies. And what do I mean by topping a cream pie? So we start with our homemade pastry cream in a blind bake shell. And then we saran wrap that. We make sure that it's all sealed and ready to go. And we ship those out from our bakehouse to all six of our pie shops. And it might be a plain vanilla pastry cream where at the store level, we're going to be making it a banana cream pie or a banana split pie. Uh, it may be a coconut cream pie, or we have, uh, maybe we blended chocolate into the pastry cream and it's going to be a chocolate cream pie or a German chocolate cream pie. So there's a lot of things that we do with our basic pastry cream recipe. I'm going to go put my hair up and I'll meet you at the pie shop where I'm going to show you how to make a banana cream pie today. <music> Hi everyone, welcome to the pie shop here in Beverly Hills. It's Thanksgiving week, our busiest week of the year, and I am here topping cream pies for Taryn. She's our store manager. So today I brought my daughter Arielle, and we have already topped a bunch of cheesecakes. We had a big corporate order pickup. Uh, they ordered 48 apple cheesecakes. So that took us uh, about an hour and a half, two hours for us to finish that up. So if you want to learn more about the corporate gift program, go to last week's video. I've got a link below. So today I want to show you how to make a banana cream pie. All right, so the first thing that I need to do, of course, is take the plastic wrap off of this cream pie. This has come wrapped up from our bakehouse in Chesterfield. We will make hundreds and hundreds of these cream pies and we will put a sheet of plastic wrap over it so it stays nice and fresh. So turn this upside down and cut the plastic off. And I want to be really careful when I take the plastic off not to break any of the edges of the crust. All right, here we go on the scale. 2.5, hit it back to zero. I need one pound of bananas on this pie. That's going to take forever. So everything is clean. We're going to start peeling these bananas. Okay. So some of these slices are big enough to get a hold of, and I can really shove them into the pastry cream, and that's going to help to preserve them, going to help them from turning brown. And then the rest of them can just lay on top. Now these bananas will start turning brown within 24 hours, right? It's just gonna start to oxidize and turn brown and that's natural. And we're not using any preservatives, so we've gotta stop these bananas best we can. So now I wanna cover it with whipped cream. I'm gonna tear that, let's get a half a pound of whipped cream. I'm almost at 0.5. I've got a couple little air holes I want to cover. I went a little bit over. I went to 0.57, but I would rather have a little bit too much whipped cream on here than not enough. So I'm assured that I've got any little air hole is covered to help these bananas stay fresh. All right, so wait to the very last minute to pick up your banana creams or banana splits. Usually if it's not a holiday, you can come in and we'll make them to order for you. We want these pies to be as fresh as possible for you because the bananas oxidize so fast. So I'll be here at the Beverly Hill store all week long, topping hundreds of cream pies throughout the week. 
the way we top our cream pies uh, is very methodical. Uh, we have been in business for 26 years. We have a procedure for everything just about in our stores. If you come into one of our pie shops and you grab a banana cream pie and say a month later you go into a different one of our pie shops and it's not the same and it's not what you expected and it's not what you had last time, you know, it's, uh, it's not a good thing in business to be inconsistent. So, yep, we have weights and measures that we've all got scales. And, you know, in my early years, I used to um, make a lot of banana cream pies uh, out at the Armada flea market. George Adams was the flea market manager, and he was this big, round guy, and he would come around to collect my $20 for my fee, and I would always give him a slice of banana cream extra. And he would walk around that flea market with his little fork and the little container with his banana cream pie and just mm, mm, mm. And as he went around to all the other vendors, they were like, what do you got there, George? And uh, he was the best advertisement for me on Sundays and Tuesdays at that flea market, I tell you. That's why we sold so many banana cream, word to mouth. Again, I talked about word to mouth advertising in another video, I'll probably put the link below on that one uh, about everything I learned in my early years about marketing. Watch that video if you have not seen that one either. But yeah, George Adams, he was quite the character. I tell you, if something needed to be sold at the flea market, you went and talked to George about it and he got the word out. He was a great guy. We used to go through a case of bananas on a Sunday morning at the Armada flea market with all the um, banana cream pies that I sold. And um, as I, you know, had people there helping me or, you know, years later as we opened up the first pie shop there in Armada, you know, I'd say, yeah, put three bananas on, on a banana cream pie. So we'd peel three bananas and slice them up and put them into the pastry cream. Well, one day the bananas might come in extra small, you know, and next week the bananas might be extra large. So we realized that was not a good uh, procedure. You know, so uh, sometimes you would only need two bananas because they were so huge. Other times you might need three and a half or four banana. So, you know, you get your measurements down, you get your weights down and you put your process and your procedure together. Gosh, 26 years in business. So it must have been like 23rd, 23 years ago. So like probably year two or three, I, I started to realize that I needed to get processes together. And a really great book that I read way back when, was Michael Gerber's book. And I have talked about this book in other videos. He has written the E-Myth and he has created a whole franchise of you know consultation. So it really helped me to understand how to, or the importance of putting processes together. So we do have processes and procedures and manuals and photos and just on the job training, lots of good training for people so that you as our customers get a consistent pie, whether you're coming in for a chocolate cream pie, a banana cream pie, or a toasty coconut pie. You know, we want you to get the same pie every time. I am going to be teaching a class on how to make the pastry cream um, in your own home. You wanna make two or three pies at a time. Uh, you can use this good homemade recipe. It has not changed over the years. When we scaled up and started making 20 cream pies at a time, we didn't change too much with this recipe. There are some things um, and techniques and things that we did change and do, and I'm gonna show you that in another class. So I have two classes coming up, how to make our pastry cream small scale and on a large scale. Maybe you have uh, your own pie shop or you're thinking about opening up a restaurant or a deli or a bakery or a pie shop, this would be a great class for you to take. Uh, those will be coming up this winter. So uh, go to the link below and I'll put you on the email uh, newsletter and uh, let you know when those classes are coming. If you wanna come in person and learn how to do a baking class, uh, my son Zach has been teaching quite a few classes in our Troy uh, location there on East Long Lake Road throughout the summer and early fall. Uh, he taught a lot of baking classes and they were so much fun. The classes filled right up and uh, they were just tons of fun, you guys. He taught blueberry pie, but not only 
the blueberry pie class, for instance, he taught how to make blueberry spritzers and blueberry topping and all things blueberry. So you didn't just uh, learn how to make a pie and take a pie home that night. You had a lot of fun too. And so Zach really uh, has a great knack and uh, uh, everybody had a great time and you get a lot more value for your money. So uh, those were great. Our Troy location has doubled in size. We newly remodeled that store. Uh, that store has been there for a long time, probably like 18 years now. So I have a lot of people that um, are watching my channel now that have been longtime customers of that Troy location. Right now in the winter, um, during the holiday season, we're not teaching any classes currently, but the classes will resume after the holidays. So stay tuned to our website for the um, in-store classes where you can physically come in and stay tuned to my channel and I'm going to be showing you how to make pastry cream and many other things too. If you haven't already seen the other videos where I showed you how to make our pastry crust, our very tender flaky pastry crust, I do that in my home kitchen. And I also show you in another video how to make a great homemade apple pie. We're here in Michigan and we have a plethora of wonderful different varieties of apples within our you know our neighborhood here so we're out here in apple country and we're really thankful for that hey you guys so did you like this video today give me a thumbs up feel free to share it with a friend and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next wednesday okay bye bye